So, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Belle. And today I'm going to be showing you my everyday makeup tutorial, um, just with eyeshadow. So, I'm just going to be starting off with priming my face. Um, I like to prime my face because sometimes when I have um, breakouts, I can, you know, sometimes just smooth it over with my primer. So, starting with the eyes, I like to start off with my eyebrows already done. If you guys want a tutorial on how I do my eyebrows, then just comment below and I will do one. So, it looks like I'm doing a cut crease here, but I'm actually not. Um, I just like the fact that, you know, when you use concealer on your eyelid, the colors come out way better to me for some reason. So, I'm just using my concealer to cover up my eyelids. And in the Tarlet palette, I really love this palette because it's super pigmented. And with me using my concealer trick, it you know it's much better. And for a little bit, it's going to look like, uh, girl, what are you doing? But it comes out very, very, very cute. I'm not very big on eyeshadow, so just kind of like bear with me. I'm more of just like a face person. I usually don't even do my eyeshadow, but for this day, I just felt like it. So. So now I'm just going to be doing my eyeliner and I hate doing my eyeliner more than anything. Um, it's so hard for me and I always wind up like tearing up or crying. <laughs> it's not really my thing but I tried just for the sake of the video. But sorry for the glare from the palette the sun was shining and I like to do my makeup outside sometimes because I don't know I just feel like it's the best lighting and it comes out but of course you know when I get more money I can afford a little studio to have a ring light and stuff like that but uh, going on to my face I like to take my foundation and use a blending brush for it I used to use my beauty blender for it but I just feel like I always get a better coverage with a brush, that's just me. But I do go back in with my beauty butter when I use um, my concealer. So with the LA Girl Pro Concealer, I like to, of course, do my under eye highlight, my nose, my chin, my cupid's bow, and a little bit on my forehead. Not much, because I have a big forehead. So I take my brush at first because it's mixed with my... Um, foundation and I like to blend it out you know with that a little bit first and then I go on with my beauty blender and fix it but I just like it because it tones down the yellowness of the concealer you know brown skin girls I don't I don't like when I see brown skin girls with like yellow highlight it's like um what are you doing but I'm just gonna go on my beauty blender and Blend this out as best as I like it to be. So now I am actually going to be taking my contour palette and carving out my cheeks. Um, a little swipe across my forehead. And um, on my nose, that's the only place I really like to contour. Um, and once I already have the product on the brush, I will go ahead and do it with my chin. So just blending that out and i um, actually going to wind up changing location because I got so hot outside that I was just like, oh girl, I can't do this no more. And I go into the house when I start to finish blending and start baking so I'll come back with the baking so with my black radiance powder loose setting powder I like to go ahead and pack that on there because when I I find when I do my baking that if I don't use a lot my makeup will move like I can't just use a little bit of product so that's one thing I do use a lot of I'm pretty you know generous with everything else not you know too heavy-handed but I definitely go ham with my baking powder and I like to take my 
skin powder that you know matches my skin color to dust off the loose setting powder so now with my contour palette my my powder I'm going to set my contour and I'm going to go around my cheeks my forehead everywhere that I contoured my nose and I take the powder and I go on my chin with it as well So now I'm going to be wiping off any product that I have on my lips so I can go ahead and line my lips with a regular brown pencil and put my lip gloss on but right here I'm actually highlighting my cheeks and um, I might even I'll put the information on all the products that I use in my description box just because doing this video I didn't show everything but you know you live and you learn you grow and you do better so if you want to know anything that I've been using it will be in the description box and, you know you gotta get that brow bone popping and I start feeling myself a little bit when my highlight gets on that's you know when I know I'm getting close to the end so I have to add um, more mascara because my lashes are so small and for this I usually like to wear falsies but I did not have any in this video and the ones that um, I was using before I ripped by accident so yeah I just went natural and just kind of you know did the mascara thing but it turned out cute so it wasn't a big deal so like I said, I use a regular brown pencil to just go ahead and line my lips and just use a regular lip gloss. I don't even know what lip gloss this is, so I'm not even going to... So with my finishing spray, I am going to be spraying all over my face and just fanning it. Um, this is the final product. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, I will be getting more equipment soon and have my own studio and be able to make more quality, better quality videos for you, I'm sorry. Um, but I was feeling myself, thought it was super cute. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!